So this is music as a cellular service, the music operating system. What is it? It's your profile. The profile is like your master gateway or your operating system to your full music catalog, which is going to exist in the clouds and will be delivered to this profile. And how it's going to recognize you is an ID, an identifier. And then that identifier is going to be hard-coded to some device, like a dongle or a, a boombox. So what's cool, what the significance of this profile is, you'll be able to, you know, take a device, turn it on, turn key, and you are playing. Whatever you like instantly starts playing based on how you programmed it. So that's going to be embedded in the profile. Your playlists, the, pro the playlists and other um, you know things that'll be able to augment how things are played, shuffling and um, smart algorithms that can detect what you like the most or discovery algorithms or customizations or whatever you can think of in terms of programming your music and organize, organizing your cloud-based catalog. That's all going to be part of this ID link to your profile. This has nothing to do with these current nonsense about making the money cashless and all this stuff. This is this whole, we're just talking about music operating system. So I don't want to freak people out about ID link to my profile. Oh my God. So <clears throat> that's just important because it's not only housing your profile, but you know, it's got, there's got to be an assurance that you're sub a subscriber because that's, that subscription part is going to help you to have your entire music catalog available. But it's going to help, monetize the industry, which is long overdue. And you're you're actually paying something like this somehow, some way. You just may not be aware of how it's coming out of your pocket right now. And you're not getting the full the full package that could be available with the right companies getting together and the right organizations getting together to consolidate this industry, to clean it all up, so that we now have a new, efficient, a truly up to spec uh, technology to match what the state of the art is for you know the music industry <clears throat> so the profile is the music operating system and that's important because it goes deep because on your profile you're gonna have instant on so when you whenever you go to you know turn on the device you're instantly gonna have you playing okay that's very important because right now a lot of systems will give you stuff from the cloud and all this other stuff, but there's this whole pre-setup and, and prepping that you have to do all the time for all the stuff. It's like it's like this is the old days you would turn on the radio and your station's playing. Well, it's gonna be the same thing, except now it's gonna be more specific. It's like if you don't like the Beatles, you'll never hear that stuff. You know, you'll hear what you like, what you set up in your profile. And of course, you're going to have sub profiles uh, for various things, and maybe a family plan, so your your children will have their own sub profiles. <clears throat> okay, and so then the other thing is, we, of course, we're going to have network expansion through Wi-Fi. So if you if you're not getting a great cellular signal, because of course cellular networks have issues from time to time, there will be options within this music operating system called the profile. So that you can get um, auxiliary methods to power your uh, your uh, network to be able to get access to the to the cloud servers, and so that's where the network expansion capability comes in. So that's where you have instant on, but you can go deeper into the technology to do further setups and system expansions to enhance the experience even further. And I'm sure they can create prompts to let people to let you know, hey. Would you rather use Wi-Fi? It's really faster right now than it's much faster right now than the, the network or whatever. And it'll be some easy way to set that up, like through a WPS where you just press a button and link it to your system. Something simple. So but what what'll happen is, you know, from place to place, it'll it'll know what places you go to use you know what Wi-Fi. If you go to a coffee shop or if it's at work or whatever. So all of these links to these Wi-Fi's are gonna be stored in the profile. 
<clears throat> so when you go into work or whatever, and you you know you'd rather use the the, the work Wi-Fi because we want to go forward. We don't want to go um, backward. We want to we want we want to have all the technology plus some more technology. And the more technology is u- the utilization of the cellular operating system. So therefore, yes, you should also have this to compensate signal strength. Maybe even other ways like through a hard drive or whatever. But you could have a, your own personal server, these kinds of things. So that's where network expansion is going to come in, into play. Okay, and then we have device-based programming, which goes back to the playlists I had mentioned, to where if you only want certain kinds of music to be played on that device, your profile, the music operating system, is going to keep track of all that, keep it up to date. You'll be entering that information for the profile through hopefully a sophisticated machine like a desktop operating system or whatever. And then you can go in and toggle all the deeper menus and do all this, you know, the more advanced things on a larger screen and get it all done, maybe even on a tablet. So that's where, you know, because if you have like, let's say, 20 devices, you don't want to, you know, necessarily keep a track of all that on a phone. Maybe you do, but, you know, maybe you'd like to also have the option to go deeper into your desktop system so you can set up more sophisticated things. So the, what, we, what we need to picture here is a cellular boombox where you're going to play basketball. Okay, there's no Wi-Fi available and all you have is your phone and your, your JBL boombox. Okay, well back in the old days when you play that boombox you had like maybe 10 CDs or you play the radio. That was your, that was your boombox. Well, using the advanced technology here, it's no more just a basic, like, small catalog. What we're talking about, of course, is everything. The everything bagel, right? From uh, Sony, all the major players, the entire music system, it will benefit all musicians to get involved with this if it does launch. To where you want to be on that music cloud so that you'll be heard through the cellular boombox. So anybody who's going to be involved in this new way of music is going to want to be on the main cloud because there'll be other clouds this whole time. You know, you're going to continue to see all the other um, regular, you know, let's say static-based, you know, companies like Spotify and all these companies who come up with things and niche things here and there. You'll, You'll still have all that available, but this is going to be a different system. And it doesn't necessarily need those systems to, to support it. It needs all new stuff, really. But it does need the catalogs from the major publishers.